It's the sectional championship game from the Fieldhouse. These two teams have split during the regular season, with the Bees winning the last one, snapping a 31-game losing streak against Fairmont Senior that dated back, well, all the way back to 2011. The Bees have confidence coming into this game now. They won the last one on this floor by a 59-55 score. When we come back, we'll take a look at the prior two matchups and our starting lineups as East meets West for the sectional title here at the Fairmont Fieldhouse on Fun 93-1. We did it. A sectional championship is on the line tonight at the Fairmont Fieldhouse where the Polar Bears and the East Fairmont Bees meet for the third time this season. The first time the two teams met was back in January. It was January 10th. There was a lot of anticipation about that game because East had almost everybody back from a very good team the year before. The Polar Bears also had a good nucleus back from a state championship year. But that first game didn't live up to the hype. The Polar Bears won it by a final score of 43 to 25, and neither team played particularly well. The Polar Bears shot 42% from the floor. East Fairmont shot 25%. So when you hear that score, you think slow down, but it wasn't that way. It was just teams that couldn't make shots. The next time the two teams played, it wasn't that long ago. It was Valentine's Day, and the Polar Bears and the Bees got together and played a tight game. It was tight throughout, went into the first overtime with the score tied at 47. Neither team scored in that overtime, so it went to another one, and both teams scored two points, so he went to a third overtime, and East Fairmont eventually won it 59-55. The Bees shot better, though, 52% from the floor, and their leading scorer was Jackson Crusoe, who had 29 points. That was the biggest difference because the first time the two teams played, Crusoe had just six. And for the Polar Bears, foul trouble was a big story in the second matchup as Zykeus Dobbs and Andre Krant both were in foul difficulties. And the Polar Bears have trouble playing, particularly without Dobbs. So he has to stay in the game and play in deep foul trouble. East won that game, though, and snapped that 31-game losing streak against the Polar Bears. And now they come into this game with new life because they're playing on Fairmont Senior's home court. But it's the same court where the Bees pulled off the win just a couple of weeks ago. When we come back, it's going to be time to check the starting lineups as we're just about ready to get things underway from a really packed field house here at Fairmont Seniors Fieldhouse. It's all coming up next. It's East meeting West here on Fun 93-1.
Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go through this works. Will you please stand for the playing of our national anthem? One of the nicest things about a sectional championship anymore is it's not an elimination game. Both these two teams, East and West, will move on regardless of who wins tonight. Both will play in a regional qualifier, but the winner will play at home and the loser will play on the road. And we already know the other section's winner, Lincoln. So whoever loses this game will play at Lincoln for the regional qualifier and the loser will play at home or the winner will play at home against RCB. Let's take a look at the starting lineups now for East Fairmont. A lineup and players were accustomed to. These guys have played a lot of basketball for the Bees. Maddox, Bowers, or Boyers in the backcourt. He is 6'1", 165, a senior. Drew Moore also in the backcourt for the Bees. 5'10", 165, senior. Ian Kirkshanks is a senior, 6'2", 195. Jackson Crusoe, 6'7", 190, a senior. The leading scorer averages 20 points a game. And Blake Hunt, who's been shooting well for the Bees, a senior, 6'0", 175. That means Grayson Stewart, who started the last time the two teams played, will come off the bench for the Bees tonight. For the Polar Bears tonight, it's going to be Zykeus Dobbs, starting in the backcourt. And for Dobbs, he comes into this game averaging 24 points a game and eight rebounds a game. Also in the backcourt is Andre Grant, the second leading scorer, averages 14. He's a 6'1 senior. Jules Butler, a sophomore at 5'10", 160. Darrell Claybrook, a sophomore at 6'0", 160. And down inside is Trey Cumberledge, a junior at 6'3", 185. Cumberledge offense has really picked up. He averages 14 points a game and eight rebounds a game for Fairmont Senior. Polar Bears coached by David Retton and the Bees coached by Tyrone Estrino. Biggest crowd we've had here at the Fairmont Fieldhouse so far this season. Crowd still coming in to the facility here. Last year in the sectional championship game, it looked as though East Fairmont was going to win that one. But a late Polar Bear surge gave Fairmont a 52-45 victory, and East had a really good team last year, but they went on to their regional qualifier in Elkins and fell to the Tigers. East stayed at home. Elkins went to the state tournament. Our officials tonight, Paul Ayers, Mel Coleman, and Bobby Clifton. Our broadcast spot courtside 
Polar Bears will be shooting at the entrance end of the facility here. The Bees at the basket to my left. Paul Ayers puts it in the air, and the Polar Bears get the tip and have the ball first. Grant gets it up court to Dobbs. On the right wing to Grant. And the clock did not start. So Fairmont will take the ball out of bounds. Still stuck at eight minutes. Tyrone Estrina was the first person to realize the clock hadn't moved, and he jumped up off the bench immediately. Last time the two teams played, it was triple overtime, and it followed a triple overtime JV game. The last time the Polar Bears have lost in a sectional tournament, that was back in 2009 against East Fairmont. So the Polar Bears have the ball now against an East zone. That's what the Bees used against the Polar Bears last time and were very effective with it. Holding Zaitia stops to just 17 points in the second game, 13 in the first meeting. Butler has it on the left wing, down low to Cumberledge. Cumberlege looks in against Crookshanks. Back out to Grant, right wing Claybrook. Down low to Dodds. Backs in against Hunt. Left wing Grant, left corner Cumberlege. High arching three, no good rebound. Tip controlled by the Bees. Out of there with it. Crusoe. Crusoe to the top of the key. Over to Boyers. Back outside now to Moore. Moore dribbling now between the circles. Takes it back almost to the center circle. Claybrook guarding him. He's getting a five count. And they have to get rid of it. And he does. He gets it to Crusoe. There's a pass knocked down by Cumberledge and a whistle and a foul called against Trey Cumberledge. That's his first. Set in the pregame tonight. That is one thing the Polar Bears have to be careful about is not getting in foul trouble. They did it the last time that these two teams played. East will get it in play in the front court. And they throw it in to Moore in the back court. Moore dribbles up against Claybrook. Moore gives up the dribble, now needs help. Left wing Crusoe guarded by Dobbs. Top of the key, Crookshanks down inside, comes under the basket to Hunt. Hunt dribbles out into the left corner, back now to Moore. Moore around a Crookshanks pick, drives down to the right wing, off balance shot, off the mark, no good. Rebound, loose on the floor, and Claybrook's got it. Polar Bears have it. Down to Dobbs, three on three. Dobbs, right corner, Cumberledge, back out to Claybrook. One hands it to Butler. Butler makes a move inside and gets it back to Dobbs. Deep in the right corner now. Comes back to Dobbs, top of the key. Over to Butler. Three-point shot right wing off the back of the rim. No good. Rebound deep into the corner. Pulled down by the Bees. Quickly right into the front court by Boyers. Under the basket to Crusoe. Puts one up. No good. Rebound Butler. Polar Bears have it. Racing into the front court. Butler. Left wing Grant. Grant drives into the lane. Back to Dobbs. Dobbs spins down inside. Leans in for the layup and fakes it in. Good. Zaitias gets his first basket, and it's the first basket of the game. The Polar Bears lead it 2 to nothing. 5.55 to go in the first quarter. Boyers with it against Grant. Back to Moore, almost at the center line. Moore, left wing Crusoe. Crusoe looks in against Dobbs. Back out now to Crookshanks. Right wing, Hunt gets it. Hunt on the left wing to Moore. Moore's pass comes over to Crusoe, right wing, too far out to shoot against Dobbs now, and gets it over to Boyers. Boyers dribbles from left to right, now goes down the right wing, puts one up against Grant, no good, and Grant picks up the foul. Grant gets his first, second team foul, and two shots coming for Boyers at the line to the left. Boyers, not a great foul shooter, just 60% on the season, and he'll shoot two. First one is up, and it is off the front of the rim, no good. Maddox, Boyers, a senior, 6-1. To try one more. Try to get East on the ward tonight. Second one is good. And East Fairmont Trails the Polar Bears 2-1 as Grant takes it quickly into the front court. Back to Dobbs on the wing. Right wing, Claybrook, top of the key, Butler. Butler penetrates back to Grant. He stops from 16, shoots off the back of the rim, no good. Crusoe has the rebound. Crusoe down court to Moore. Moore to the left wing against Claybrook. Around a Crookshanks pick. Now picked up by Cumberland. 
Getting a five count, gets it back now to Boyers, top of the key. Boyers against Grant in front of the Fairmont student session. Pass knockdown, stolen by Grant. Grant will drive for the layup from the left side, puts it up off the top of the glass, but he is fouled. Mel Coleman making the call. Foul called on Jackson Crusoe. His first. And going to the line will be the Polar Bears' Andre Grant, team's best foul shooter, 82% on the season. And he'll shoot two with the Polar Bears leading 2-1. to one. Six-foot senior puts it up, and it is good. Grant has been consistent in the two matchups between the two teams. 10 in the first game, 12 in the second. One more shot coming for Grant. And it is good. And the Polar Bears have a 4-1 to one lead. Get into some pressure now. In the backcourt, Boyers gives up the dribble, gets it to Crusoe. Crusoe back to Boyers, drives inside his shot, blocked by Butler, and a foul called on the Polar Bears. Jules Butler. Butler gets his first, third team foul. And at the foul line, Warriors again. He's one for two. Polar Bears lead four to one. And Boyer's first free throw is good. Grayson Stewart checks in the lineup for the Bees. He's been a solid player for the Bees in both games against the Polar Bears. 12 points the first game, 13 the second. Solid inside. Boyer's second foul shot is good. He gets his third straight from the line, and the Polar Bear lead is 4-3. to three. Cumberledge dribbles into the front court. Gets it over to Dobbs. East in the zone. Crusoe comes out to make it look like a 3-2. Now the Polar Bears moving around offensively as Dobbs has it at the top of the key. Right wing to Grant. Grant back to Dobbs. Dobbs bounces it in the left corner to Butler. Back to Dobbs. Zykeus over to Grant. Left wing Butler open for a three-point shot. It's good. Jules Butler gets the three-point basket. His 24th of the season. And the Polar Bears have a 7-3 lead. Bees beat the press with a pass into the front court. It comes to Crookshanks, and he gets it back to Boyers. Boyers at the center circle against Grant. 3.48 to go first quarter. The Polar Bears 7, the Bees 3. Hunt with it over to Crusoe. Crusoe against Dobbs. Puts it on the floor around the screen at the top of the key. Back now to Stewart. Drives in against Cumberledge. Puts it up. No good. Rebound. Butler for the Polar Bears. Into the front court. Three on two. Gets it to Grant. Grant drives for the basket and puts it in. Grant hits it. And the Polar Bears have a 9-3 lead. Bees with the ball in the front court against heavy pressure. On the near side, it comes to Crusoe. Crusoe back to Hunt. Hunt looks in against Butler. Now passes on the near side. Boyers gets it. Boyers drives down against Claybrook, leans in, puts it up, no good, but a foul is going to be called against Darrell Claybrook. And Claybrook gets his first foul. So back to the foul line goes Maddox Boyers. He scored all of the B's points from that spot. First free throw is up, and it is good. One more shot coming for Boyers. Polar Bears lead it 9-4. to four. Second one is up, and it is good. So Boyers now hot from the line. He's made five straight. Polar Bears lead it 9-5. Right corner, Butler gets it back to Dobbs. Left wing, Cumberledge. Back top of the key to Zykeus Dobbs. Lobs it in the left corner to Grant. Back to Cumberledge, who is a three-point threat. Over to Butler, top of the key. Cross court, right corner, Cumberledge gets it. Trey puts it on the floor, pulls up from 17. He shoots it, good. Cumberledge hits it, and Fairmont leads it 11 to five. East with the ball, 2.36 to go, first quarter from Fairmont Fieldhouse. Outside with it is Boyers. Boyers, Crookshanks, top of the key. Hands it off to Boyers. Boyers against Grant, passes in the left corner. 
Comes to Stewart. Drives down the baseline. His shot blocked by Cumberledge. Cumberledge rebounds. Lead. Bounce pass to Dobbs. Dobbs driving inside. Stops. Leans in. Puts it up. No good. Rebound knocked out of bounds. No. Saved by Claybrook. Loose on the floor. And is picked up by Cumberledge. Polar Bears good hustle on that loose ball. And Fairmont maintains possession. Grant has it on the right wing. Deep right corner to Claybrook. Back to Grant on the wing. Left wing. Butler, left corner, Cumberledge, a three-point shot, it's good. Cumberledge gives up Polar Bears a nine-point lead. Here's Stewart with it across the center line. A minute 45 to go in the quarter. Top of the key, Crookshanks. Crookshanks looks for help, gets it over now to Boyers. Boyers dribbles to the left wing, gives up the dribble, needs help. He passes in the corner to Hunt. Off balance, three, it rattles in good. First basket for the Bees. Blake Hunt hits a three. And Fairmont has a 14-8 lead. Dobbs on the left wing. Right corner, Grant. Top of the key, Cumberledge. Cumberledge back outside to Grant. Down inside to Dobbs. Outside to Cumberledge. Open for a three-point shot. It's good! Cumberledge hits a second three. And the Polar Bears lead it 17-8. A minute seven to go in the first quarter. Outside with it is Boyers. There's man-to-man. Grant guarding Boyers. Down to a minute to go in the opening half, or opening quarter, rather. Polar Bears up by nine. Crusoe with it, hands it off to Stewart. Stewart, top of the key, trying to back his way in, and as he goes for the shot, a whistle, and a foul is going to be called against the Polar Bears' Cumberledge. And that's going to be his second. Fairmont will have to sub him out now with 48 seconds to go in the first quarter. And at the foul line goes Grayson Stewart. He'll shoot two at the line to the left. First foul shot is good. Fairmont leads 17 to nine and Chris Wilson comes into the game. 5'8", 194 pound junior. One other shot coming now for the left-handed Stewart and it rims out, rebound pulled down by Claybrook. Polar Bears have it. And the Polar Bears most likely will go for the last shot with 42 seconds to go in the first quarter. 17-9, the Polar Bears lead. Butler over to Grant. Grant back to Butler. 30 seconds on the clock. He's back in the zone. Reminds you of the overtime game when Fairmont Senior pretty much held the ball the entire first overtime. 18 seconds to go now. But this is just typical. This is the way Fairmont plays all the time, going for the last shot of the quarter. Ten seconds to go. Wilson gets it right wing to Butler with seven now. Butler, right corner, Claybrook. Back to Dobbs. Dobbs moves in closer, spins in for the shot, hangs in the air, puts it up no good, and that's the end of the first quarter. After one quarter from the Fairmont Fieldhouse, it's the Fairmont Senior Polar Bears 17, East Fairmont 9 on Fun 93-1. Hi, my name is Zach Frazier and I'm from Fairmont, West Virginia. And when I'm back at home in Fairmont, you'll find me at my local Parmar store. We had that gold of boo pride at Parmar. There are literally hundreds of Parmar stores in West Virginia, Kentucky, Ohio, and Pennsylvania, and even more on the way. Download the Parmar app to save even more. And whether it's food, gas, groceries, or whatever, we have you covered at Parmar. West Virginia proud and ready to serve you. If there's not a Parmar store near you now, there will be soon. An injury at any age can be a game changer. But with walk-in clinics Monday through Saturday, the Marshall Sports Medicine Institute is ready to get you off the bench and back in the game. Marshall Sports Medicine Institute takes care of the herd. Let us take care of you. Sandwiches. Better with Pepsi. One quarter in the books. Polar Bears with a 17 to 9 lead. Last time the two teams played after one quarter. The Polar Bears trailed 16-14. Second quarter lineup for the Polar Bears. Wilson remains in along with Butler, Grant, Dobbs, and Claybrook. That sends Dobbs down inside. He'll play in place of Cumberledge down inside. And Zykeus at 6-4 can do that. 
East with the ball now in the front court as Boyers has it across the center line. Polar Bears in his zone now. Crusoe back outside to Boyers. Left wing Hunt. Left corner Stewart. Stewart looks inside for Crusoe. Can't get him the ball. Now back outside it comes to Boyers. Top of the key, Crookshanks. Hands it back to Boyers who backs up. Picked up by Wilson. Tough screen by Crookshanks and an illegal screen. Oh, foul called on Boyers. They called him for hooking the defender after the screen by Crookshanks. There you see he got his left arm around him, and Boyers picks up his first foul, and the Polar Bears have the ball. A chance to go up by 10. Butler with it on the left wing. Butler, top of the key, Grant, right corner, Dobbs. Cross-court pass, throws it into the bleachers. So the Bees get it right back on the Fairmont turnover. And East has it now. Boyers, left wing, gets it to Stewart. Back outside now. Hunt gets it. Right corner, Crusoe against Claybrook. And he loses the ball. Terrell gets it over to Grant. Up to Butler. Butler in the front court from left to right, down to the right wing. Crosses over, top of the key, Grant. Fakes right. Passes now to Butler, corner to Dobbs, back out to Butler. Butler over to Grant on the left wing. Looks inside, now gets it back to Butler. Butler tries a bounce pass inside, it's kicked, and it'll be out to the Polar Bears. 6.46 on the clock in the second quarter. Fairmont Senior 17, East Fairmont 9. The winner plays at home for the regional qualifier against RCB. Outside it comes to Grant, right corner Dobbs. Sykeus down the baseline, back out to Grant, top of the key for a three, off the rim, rebound, Stewart. Bees have the ball, up to Boyers. Boyers down to the left wing, now back out top of the key. Comes to Crusoe on the wing. Hard pass inside to Stewart, double teamed there, back to Crusoe against Dobbs. Leans in, puts one up, and it rolls in good. Crusoe gets his first basket. Polar Bears lead 17 to 11. And Butler almost loses the ball, and he falls down with it. Held ball is the call. Alternate possession gives it to the Polar Bears. So Fairmont gets the ball back. No turnover. Butler gets it in to Grant. Grant, top of the key, right corner Dobbs. Fairmont tried to get Cumberledge back into the game, but the scorer didn't see him. Butler... Right wing Grant. Grant lobbed down inside to Dobbs, puts it up under the basket on the alley oop, and he scores. Dobbs gets the basket. Grant the assist. Timeout called by the Bees. 5.55 to go here in the second quarter. It's the Polar Bears 19, East Fairmont 11 on Fun 93 1. National Bank, where you can purchase or refinance your home with the No Down Payment Champion Mortgage. No down payment, no private mortgage insurance, no kidding. Visit your local branch to get started today. City National Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. To learn more, log on to mortgage.bankitcity.com. Sandwiches, better with Pepsi. Polar Bears with an eight-point lead early in the second quarter. Cumberledge has returned, but he's playing with two fouls. The rest of the lineup is Grant, Butler, Dobbs, Claybrook. For the Bees, Crusoe, Boyers, Hunt, Crookshanks, and Stewart in the game. East with the ball now, and it's taken across the center line by Boyers. Left wing, Crusoe. Left corner, Hunt. Back outside now to Boyers. Boyers try to get it in the wing, and it goes in and out of the hands of Stewart, and the Polar Bears get it on the turnover. Fairmont Sr. leads it 19 to 11. Polar Bears with a basketball, a chance to go up by 10. It would be the biggest lead of the night. Dobbs across the center line, looking to the sidelines for some instructions about the offense. Stops, passes over to Butler on the wing. Butler, left wing, Cumberledge. 
Cumberledge back to Grant, top of the key. Grant feeds it inside to Cumberledge, but he couldn't hang on to it, and it's out of bounds to the Bees. A turnover goes to Trey. That's a pass he should have caught. He was coming under the basket thinking about being able to lay it up, but the pass took him a little bit too far, and it went in and out of his hands, and the Bees get it right back on a Fairmont turnover. Hunt on the left wing, back outside of Boyers. Hunt is your outside threat for the Bees right now. He's been playing well, shooting well from three-point range. Crusoe gets it in the right corner, backs in, in traffic, throws it outside, knocked down by Butler, but picked up by Boyers at the center circle. Boyers dribbles down to the left wing, shoots over Dobbs and banks it in good. Nice shot by Maddox Boyers. And there's a lead pass to Cumberledge from Dobbs. Back outside it comes to Claybrook. Right corner Butler. Butler top of the key to Claybrook. East down by six. Bounce pass in the left corner to Dobbs. Dobbs against Crusoe. Takes him down inside. Now gets it back out to Grant on the left wing. Grant looks inside. Now fires a three-point shot. It is good. Andre Grant gets the three for the Polar Bears, his 17th of the year. And Fairmont has the nine-point lead again. It's 22-13. East with the ball. Boyers, left corner, Stewart. Back outside to Boyers on the wing. Over to Hunt. Down inside to Crusoe. Crusoe in the lane to Crookshanks. Left corner, Stewart. Three-point shot short. Rebound tipped around, and Stewart gets it. Shovels it inside. Put up under the basket by Boyers. Misses it. Tipped by Dobbs. Out to Grant. Grant driving down inside two on one to Cumberledge. He lays it in. Cumberledge gets the basket, and the Polar Bears lead by 11. It's 24-13. East with the ball, 3.30 to go until halftime. Biggest lead of the night. Boyers with it against Butler, getting a five count. His pass knocked down, stolen by Dobbs. He's driving for the layup, and he banks it in. Timeout called by the Bees. Timeout, East Fairmont, 3.15 to go, second quarter. It's the Polar Bears 26, East Fairmont 13 on Fun 93-1. Un minuto. Okay, stop. 1965, the team at City Construction has been an industry leader in all facets of construction, shaping the West Virginia landscape with some of the most recognizable commercial projects throughout the state. As one of the largest general contractors in North Central West Virginia, our outstanding record of quality workmanship and personal service is here for your next project. Call our team of experts today. Give us the opportunity to design build your next project. City Construction Company, West Virginia proud since Fairmont's relentless defense has helped it get a 13-point lead over the Bees. One of the biggest differences so far has been Trey Cumberledge, who's now on the bench. He has 10 points here in the first half. That's more than he scored in either of the first two games. Crusoe to get the ball in play. In the backcourt, it comes to Moore, who's checked back into the game for the Bees. Moore double-teamed ball, knocked loose by Grant. He falls down on it. He's tied up. Ball taken by Claybrook. Out to Dobbs, to Grant. He lays it in. Grant gets the basket, and the Polar Bears lead by 15. It's 28 to 13. Boyers in the backcourt, dogged by Grant. Now gives up the dribble, and his pass deflected. Loose again, Grant to Dobbs. Dobbs drives down inside. He puts it in, and the Polar Bears lead it 30 to 13. East with the ball across the center line now. Fairmont feeling it on the defensive end. Moore gets it over to Moore. Moore guarded by Claybrook to the top of the key. Now passes left wing to Stewart. Stewart backing in against Wilson. Back outside to Moore, top of the key, Crusoe. Left wing, Stewart gets it. Stewart drives in against Wilson, and he lays it up, misses. Crusoe rebounds under the basket. He misses. Rebound, tip, controlled by Dobbs. Dobbs into the front court. Two on four. 
Now underhands it to Grant. Grant back to Dobbs. Under the basket, he banks it in. Oh my, the Polar Bears on fire. A 19 point lead, two minutes to go in the first half. Moore has it on the left wing. Moore bounces it to Crusoe. Crusoe against Dobbs. Cautiously dribbling along the three point line. Back to Moore, pulls up from 50. His shot is blocked. Down with the rebound comes Claybrook. Outlet to Grant. Grant down the far side, drives through the lane from left to right and loses the ball. Drew Moore gets it. Moore into the front court, underhands it to Boyers against Butler, puts it up no good, and Butler will pick up the foul. Fairmont senior, 32, East Fairmont 13, and Butler has picked up his second foul. We have a minute 33 to go in the first half. At the foul line is Maddox Boyers. He's five for six from the line tonight, has seven points. Kalen Barker will be checking in for the Polar Bears. He'll come in for Butler. Boyers, first foul shot is up and it is good. (laughs) Butler checks out, Barker in, 133 to go for the Bees. Crookshanks in, Moore out. One more shot coming for Maddox Boyers at the line to the left. And it's off the back of the rim, and the rebound tracked down by Barker, and Fairmont has it. Dobbs dribbles up court. Polar Bears up 32-14. Dobbs on the right wing for Grant. Double teamed in the corner. Claybrook needs help, and he saves it off an East player out of bounds to the Polar Bears. 121 on the clock, and the Polar Bears up by 18. Dobbs to bring it in play. Cumberledge and Butler, two starters out of the Fairmont lineup for the final minute and a half. Barker on the right wing, back outside to Wilson. Wilson gets it over to Dobbs with a minute 15 to go. On that bar, on that, on the cusp of do you go for one or do you try to keep going? And the Polar Bears pulling it out but not going for one shot here. Barker, right wing, Grant, he'll take a three. It's off the rim, no good. Rebound, hustled after by Barker and he got it. Barker right wing to Grant. Down inside to Dobbs under the basket. Dobbs spins inside. Puts it in, and he's fouled. Dobbs gets the basket. Foul called inside against the Bees, and Zykeus will shoot for the three-point play. Zykeus Dobbs shooting at the line to the right on the season, 70% at the free throw line. It is up, it's no good, but the rebound, Claybrook in the corner with 50 seconds to go, and now the Polar Bears will go for the final shot of the half. Barker gets it out to Claybrook, 44 seconds left. Fairmont Senior, 34, East 14. Dobbs gets it back to Grant, inside 40. Grant one-hands it to Claybrook. Claybrook, hard pass inside, knocked down, stolen away. Not a good pass by Claybrook. Comes in the front court to Boyers. Boyers one-hands it in the corner to Hunt for a three. It's in and out. Rebound Dobbs and a foul called inside. It'll go against the Polar Bears. Kalen Barker. Barker called for pushing off against Crusoe. Some of that should be allowed with Barker at 5'8", and Crusoe at 6'7", but not really. Ball out of bounds to the Bees. Barker gets his first foul. East with it under its basket. 25 seconds to go. Hunt back outside to Crookshanks. Bees down by 20. Crusoe with it now. Crusoe has just one basket. Over to Hunt on the wing. Back outside to Boyers. We're now down to 10 seconds to go in the half. Crusoe top of the key. Hands it off to Hunt with six. Back to Crusoe, long distance three on the right wing, off the rim, rebound, Claybrook gets it to Dobbs. That's the end of the first half. It's halftime at the Fairmont Senior Fieldhouse and the Polar Bears have been on fire. The score, Fairmont Senior 34, East Fairmont 14. Halftime report coming up next on Fun 93-1. I'm Keith Powell, and going on right now is my Keith Says Yes Fest. I'm saying yes to lowering your payments, yes to your trade-in, regardless of condition, miles, even if you're still making payments. My Keith Says Yes credit approval process helps me say yes, you're approved. So if you want new Chevys, yes, new Fords, yes, lifetime warranty, yes. 
Come see me, Keith Powell, at Yes Chevy and Hurricane and Yes Ford in Huntington. An injury at any age can be a game changer. But with walk-in clinics Monday through Saturday, the Marshall Sports Medicine Institute is ready to get you off the bench and back in the game. Marshall Sports Medicine Institute takes care of the herd. Let us take care of you. Hi, this is Meredith Mayer from Fairmont, West Virginia. And when I'm back home, you can find me at my local Parmar store. We had that thundering herd pride at your local Parmar stores. We are over 200 stores strong and growing. Download the Parmar app for even more savings and sign up for the Parmar Rewards Card. Whether it's food, gas, or groceries, we have you covered. We are Marshall and we are Parmar Stores. If there's not a Parmar store near you now, there will be soon. Sandwiches, better with Pepsi. <sighs> Since 1965, the team at City Construction has been an industry leader in all facets of construction, shaping the West Virginia landscape with some of the most recognizable commercial projects throughout the state. As one of the largest general contractors in North Central West Virginia, our outstanding record of quality workmanship and personal service is here for your next project. Call our team of experts today. Give us the opportunity to design and build your next project. City Construction Company, West Virginia proud since 1965. It's halftime at the Fairmont Fieldhouse. Wow, this place really rocking for the Polar Bears in the first half as Fairmont Senior after a, a pretty good first quarter put together an outstanding second quarter, outscoring the Bees by a 17 to 5 margin to go on top at the half, 34 to 14. After one quarter, the Polar Bears led 17 to 9, and it was the three point shooting in the first quarter that propelled the Polar Bears to that lead. East was just having trouble getting a basket. The bulk of East's points in the first quarter came from the foul line. And then in the second quarter, the Bees managed only two baskets and the Polar Bears with their defense, forcing steals, getting passes down court, getting the fast break going. And Zykeus Dobbs scored 10 second quarter points and the Polar Bears went on top by 20 here at halftime. Okay, here's what this all means. And certainly this game isn't over yet, but the winner will play at home. And we already know the next round opponent because they've already played that sectional championship in the other section. Lincoln beat RCB. So what that means now is that the Polar Bears will be going up against, if they win this game, they would play the loser, which would be RCB on the Polar Bears home court. If East would come back and win, the Bees would play RCB on uh, their home court. The loser of this game will play at Lincoln against the Cougars. So that's the way that sectional championship has moved on they're one day ahead of us and then the regional qualifier will be next week it'll be March 6th we call it the qualifier because technically you don't really have a regional champion anymore because you have two teams that are winners in their sections and then they don't play each other they play the losers from the other section so it's impossible to call it a regional champion but it is possible to call it a regional qualifier qualifying for the state tournament. So what that means is the loser of this game tonight, season's not over. The loser will just play on the road for the regional qualifier. And if that game is won, the team that loses tonight still goes to the state tournament. So it is very possible and maybe even very likely that East and West both will be at the state high school basketball tournament in Charleston. I can tell you now that they have <clears throat> extended it by a class, they did that not just this year, but earlier. Of course, there are more games because you've got four classifications instead of the old days when we had three. In class AAA, your games are going to be Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. In the old days, it started on Wednesday for some teams and Thursday for some others. Well, the tournament starts Tuesday, and the AAA schools will play Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So if you're wondering about how to make your Charleston plans, that's how the AAA matchups will 
take place. They've already seeded it, and you have the times for the seeded teams. You just don't know where you are necessarily seeded yet. But the game times are already determined. You just put the team, plug the team into the seed, and you see when your game is scheduled. So it can still be East and Fairmont Senior in the state tournament, even though one team is going to lose here tonight. When we come back, it'll be time to check the first half stats and also take a look at what's going on in Huntington at the state wrestling tournament. That's coming up next here on Fun 93.1. I'm Keith Powell, and going on right now is my Keith Says Yes Fest. I'm saying yes to lowering your payments, yes to your trade-in, regardless of condition, miles, even if you're still making payments. My Keith Says Yes credit approval process helps me say yes, you're approved. So if you want new Chevys, yes. New Fords, yes. Lifetime warranty, yes. Come see me, Keith Powell, at Yes Chevy and Hurricane, and Yes Ford in Huntington. An injury at any age can be a game changer. But with walk-in clinics Monday through Saturday, the Marshall Sports Medicine Institute is ready to get you off the bench and back in the game. Marshall Sports Medicine Institute takes care of the herd. Let us take care of you. Hi, this is Meredith Mayer from Fairmont, West Virginia. And when I'm back home, you can find me at my local Parmar store. We have that thundering herd pride at your local Parmar stores. We are over 200 stores strong and growing. Download the Parmar app for even more savings and sign up for the Parmar Rewards Card. Whether it's food, gas, or groceries, we have you covered. We are Marshall and we are Parmar Stores. If there's not a Parmar store near you now, there will be soon. Sandwiches, better with Pepsi. <sighs> Since 1965, the team at City Construction has been an industry leader in all facets of construction, shaping the West Virginia landscape with some of the most recognizable commercial projects throughout the state. As one of the largest general contractors in North Central West Virginia, our outstanding record of quality workmanship and personal service is here for your next project. Call our team of experts today. Give us the opportunity to design build your next project. City Construction Company, West Virginia proud since 1965. It's halftime at the Fairmont Fieldhouse. The Polar Bears with a big lead. It's 34-14 over East Fairmont here in the sectional final. Want to mention this first before we get to our halftime scoring. The state high school wrestling tournament underway. The Polar Bears have just such an impressive season, and they are in second place at the state tournament right now, trailing Point Pleasant by 13 points, and they have the following wrestlers in the semifinals tonight. Bryce Nichols, Hayden Spitznagel, Jason Walker, Maximus Fortier, Hunter Spitznagel, Gavin Michael, and Caleb Arbogast, and still in consolations, Tristan Wills and Tanner Woodman. So just what a great start for the polar bear wrestling team. And they'll be wrestling all day tomorrow, and the championship will be won tomorrow. Hopefully there will be a champion or two or three on the polar bear side. First half scoring for East Fairmont. Leading the way, Maddox Boyers primarily at the foul line. He has one basket, six for eight at the line, eight points. Three points for Blake Hunt on one three-pointer. Jackson Caruso, one basket, two. Grayson Stewart, one for two at the line, one point. For Fairmont, Dobbs has six baskets, 0 for 1 at the line, 12. Ten points for Cumberledge on two twos, two threes. Andre Grant, two twos, one three, two for two at the line, nine. And Jules Butler, a three-point basket for three. Team totals, Fairmont senior, ten twos, East Fairmont, two. From the three-point line, the Polar Bears have hit four. The Bees just one. At the foul line, East is 7 for 10, Fairmont 2 for 3. Foul trouble, East has nobody in foul trouble, nobody with more than one. And the Polar Bears have two players with two, Jules Butler and Trey Cumberledge. And Cumberledge picked up two fouls in the first quarter of this game. Our officials getting both teams out of their huddles and back to the court. Our spot here, courtside at the Fairmont Fieldhouse. Full of fans tonight. Nice to have such a big crowd. And that second quarter really got the crowd on the Fairmont senior side into the game. 
Second half lineup for the Polar Bears, same as the starters, Grant Dobbs, Butler, Cumberlege, and Claybrook. For the Bees, it's Crusoe, Boyers, Hunt, Moore, and Crookshank. So each team back with the starting fives, and East has the ball first, and they'll shoot at the entrance end, the basket to our right. Here's Boyers dribbling to the left wing. Fairmont man-to-man -man around a Crusoe screen all the way for the left, and Grant blocks his shot. Andre Grant with a block shot. That's his sixth of the season, and the ball is out of bounds to the Bees under their basket. Second half just underway. Boyers toss it in. Now he sends it out, comes out on the right wing, picked up by Crookshanks there. Crookshanks, quarterback on the East football team for the past four years. Crusoe Gets it over on the left wing now to Boyers. Boyers against Grant. Moves around the screen, stops top of the key. Left wing hunt, down low to Crusoe. Against Dobbs, turns, half hook, no good. Rebound tipped around, out of bounds, out of bounds to Fairmont Senior. Jackson Crusoe just two points. He had 29 in the last game, the game the Bees won in triple overtime. Polar Bears with a basketball now, leading by 20, and Dobbs has it in the front court. Dobbs at the top of the key. Right wing Grant. Grant in the right corner. Cumberledge back outside to Butler. Over to Claybrook, top of the key. Right wing, Cumberledge. Grant gets it now. Back to Cumberledge, over to Dobbs. Dobbs against Hunt. Feeds Cumberledge under the basket. This is the shot. Rebound controlled by Crusoe. Crusoe into the front court to Hunt. Hunt in the right corner. Now gets it back outside to Crusoe. Crusoe against Dobbs. Dribbles down to the right wing, down to the baseline. Off balance, 12-footer is an air ball. Rebound, Cumberledge out to Dobbs. Dobbs, lead pass to Cumberledge. Drives under the basket, scoops it up, no good. Rebound, Dobbs, no good. And the rebound, foul called against the Bees. Jackson Crusoe gets his second foul. And Dobbs at the line for the Polar Bears. He's 0 for 1 tonight, 70% on the season. He has 12 points to lead all scorers. First foul shot, no good. One more shot coming for Dobbs at the line to the left. Six thirty-nine left in the third quarter. Free throw is good. Zayakias gets one, Polar Bears by 21. It's 35-14. Comes in the backcourt to Boyer. Stremont Sr. in full court pressure, and there's foul caught on Andre Grant along the sidelines, and Grant will get his second. First foul of the quarter against the Polar Bears, and Crusoe will bring it in play from the sidelines. In the backcourt, Crusoe gets it back to Boyers. Boyers will dribble across the center line from left to right, and Grant is guarding him. Takes it to the left wing. Around a Crusoe screen. Now drives inside against Grant, lays it up and scores. Boyers gets the basket, Polar Bears lead 35-16. Grant out on the left wing, left corner. Butler gets it, back outside to Grant, top of the key, Dobbs. Dobbs drives down inside, now on the left wing to Butler. Butler down low to Dobbs, back to the basket. He turns, he lays it up right-handed and scores. Dobbs gives the Polar Bears a 37-16 lead. Blake Hunt with it for the Bees, outside to Boyers. Boyers around a Crusoe screen. Right wing, Moore. Moore one-hands it to Crusoe. Back on the right wing now. Boyers, top of the key, Hunt. Down low pass, knockdown, stolen away by Dobbs. Outlet to Butler. Butler down court against Hunt. Takes him down inside under the basket now. Needs help as he's double teamed. Throws it off the foot of Crookshanks. Out of bounds to the Polar Bears. Butler had no place to go as he was almost on the baseline under the basket. So he just threw the ball off the foot of Ian Crookshanks. Fairmont gets it in the corner to Butler. Down low to Dobbs. Turns, gets it to Cumberledge. Eight footer left corner. It's good. Cumberledge from Dobbs. Trey has 12. And the Polar Bears have their biggest lead. It's 39-16. East with the ball. Boyers on the left wing. Boyers around a Crusoe screen. Now around a Hunt screen. Back outside, Hunt gets it. Over to Crookshanks. Back to Boyers, down inside, under the basket to Crusoe, and he lays it in. Dobbs tried to overplay the pass, but couldn't get it. 
And the Polar Bears have it in the front court, leading 39-18. Dobbs feeds Claybrook back to Grant. A three from the left wing. It's good. They say a two-point basket by Andre Grant, not a three. Two-pointer, and the Polar Bears extend the lead. Timeout with 4.46 to go in the third quarter. Fairmont Senior 41, East Fairmont 18 on Fun 93-1. Hi, my name is Zach Frazier and I'm from Fairmont, West Virginia. And when I'm back at home in Fairmont, you'll find me at my local Parmar store. We had that Golden Boot pride at Parmar. There are literally hundreds of Parmar stores in West Virginia, Kentucky, Ohio, and Pennsylvania, and even more on the way. Download the Parmar app to save even more. And whether it's food, gas, groceries, or whatever, we have you covered at Parmar. West Virginia proud and ready to serve you. If there's not a Parmar store near you now, there will be soon. The Polar Bears have been hot tonight, and Fairmont leads it 41-18 to over the Bees in the sectional final here at the Fairmont Fieldhouse. East with a basketball baseline backcourt. Crusoe gets it into Boyers, and Boyers will dribble up from left to right. Grant guarding him. Crusoe trying to set a little pick in the backcourt. Boyers out on the left wing. Moves around the screen. Polar Bears switch off a bit. Butler guarding Boyers. He shoots no good. Rebound Dobbs. Dobbs outlet comes to Grant. Grant down court under the basket. Beautifully to Cumberledge. He lays it in. Cumberledge from Grant. Fairmont 43. East Fairmont 18. Bees with the ball. Right wing. Hunt has it. Back outside to Boyers. Boyers. Passes to Crusoe beyond the three-point line in the corner. Back out to Boyer's right wing Hunt. Halfway through the third quarter. Ball comes left wing now. Boyer's gets it. Boyer's passes over to Hunt. Takes the three. Now feeds it inside to Crusoe in the lane. Crusoe against Dobbs. He turns. He shoots. It misses. Rattles out. Rebound tipped by Claybrook and saved by Grant. Grant gets it in the corner to Butler, and the Polar Bears have it. Butler in the front court, down in the corner to Cumberledge. Back outside now to Butler, top of the key, Claybrook. Left wing, Butler. Butler around his man, feeds it to Dobbs under the basket. He banks it up, no good. Rebound controlled by the B, Stewart. Into the front court to Boyers. Boyers against Grant. Takes him down to the baseline, lays it up, misses everything, and on the rebound, a foul called inside against the Polar Bears. Dobbs is going to be called for the foul. Stay in red. So Dobbs picks up personal, his first. Ball out of bounds. Bees get it in the right wing. Crusoe back outside now. 3.16 to go. Polar Bears lead 43-18. Boyers dribbles into the deep right corner. Guarded closely and tries to get it. Crusoe goes through his hands out of bounds towards the entrance gate here at the field house. So the Polar Bears will get the ball. 3.08 to go, third quarter. Fairmont leads at 43-18. This has been all Polar Bears from the beginning. Dobbs across the center line. Slow right-hand dribble. Dobbs guarded by Crusoe, but that's kind of generous because he's not really guarding him yet. Now he picks him up as Dobbs passes inside to Butler. He misses the shot. It's blocked and down with the rebound comes Stewart. Stewart in the front court for the Bees. Crosses over. Drives down inside. Gets it in the lane. Dobbs knocks the ball away. Gets the steal. Dobbs spins away from a defender and gets it across the timeline. Dobbs down to the right wing. Moves to the basket. Lays it up left-handed. It's good. Zykeus Dobbs gets another basket. Fairmont leads it 45-18. Deep left corner, Hunt for a three. It's no good. Rebound, Cumberledge gets it to Dobbs. And Dobbs up court to Butler. Butler into the front court. Moves into the lane. Right wing, Grant. Cross court, left corner, Cumberledge. A long distance three. It is good. Cumberledge gives the Polar Bears a 30-point lead. It's 48-18. to 1.55 to go. Third quarter. Hunt with the ball, left wing Boyers. Boyers bounce pass to Crusoe, top of the key. 
Crusoe sends it back to Boyers. He'll launch a three left wing off the rim. Cumberland's rebounds. Outlet to Butler. Butler into the front court. Gets it to Dobbs. Dobbs drives down inside. Around his man lays it up. No good, but he's fouled. And Zykeus will get free throws. Jackson Crusoe gets his third foul, and it sends Zykeus Dobbs to the line for the Polar Bears to shoot two. Zykeus has 17 points tonight for the Polar Bears, and that's the most he scored in either of the two games. He scored 17 the last time the two teams played, and he has had a much better game offensively than either of the others. He misses the first free throw. Hoyt Michael comes into the East lineup. Checking in for Avery Brown. One more shot coming for Dobbs. He has no teammates along the lane. They've all headed down to the defensive end and his second free throw is no good and Zykeus gets the rebound. Now he goes down inside under the basket and as he goes for another shot, he is fouled. No, they say no shot. Paul Ayers said it was before the shot, so the ball is out of bounds to the Polar Bears. Hoyt Michael charged with a foul. So Dobbs will bring the ball in play from under the Polar Bear basket. A minute 33 to go in the quarter. Polar Bears by 30. Left corner, Butler. Back outside to Grant. Grant, right corner, Cumberledge. Cumberledge down to the baseline. Drives with the shot, puts it off the side of the glass. There's Dobbs to clean up. He puts it in. Zykeus Dobbs gets another basket. Fairmont 50, East Fairmont 18 with a minute 17 to go. Third quarter. Hunt with the ball to Crusoe, top of the key. Crusoe, hard pass inside under the Hunt. Reverse layup is good. Crusoe gets the assist. Hunt the basket. Polar Bears lead 50 to 20. Butler into the front court, drives under the basket, then sends it back outside to Grant. Top of the key to Dobbs, spins into the lane. He hooks it up right-handed. It's good. You just can't stop that. And the Polar Bears lead 52 to 20. Inside a minute to go in the third quarter. Left wing, Michael gets it. Now short corner to Stewart. Back outside to Hunt. Hunt, right wing, Boyers. Down inside, a pass intended for Michael. Stolen away by Claybrook. Off to Grant. Grant drives inside, has it stolen right back by Boyers. Boyers into the front court. Drives down inside, puts one up in traffic, and a whistle and a foul is called against the Polar Bears. Coverledge called for his third foul for the Polar Bears. Chris Wilson ready to check in to the Fairmont lineup. Two shots coming up for Boyers. First free throw is up and it is good. Wilson checks into the Polar Bear lineup now. He's coming in for Coverledge. Another shot at the line to the right, and it is good. Boyers gets them both. Basket is good, but a foul along the lane on the rebound called against the Bees, Grayson Stewart. So the ball belongs to the Polar Bears now. That's the fourth team foul against the Bees. But we have just 25 seconds to go in the third quarter, and the fouls reset each quarter. Dobbs has it across the center line, 18 seconds to go. The Polar Bears 52, East Fairmont 22. Fairmont led at the half, 34-14. Eight seconds to go, Butler, left wing Dobbs with six. He moves around a screen, right wing Grant around his man for the layup on the right side. He banks it in, one second to go. That's the end of the third quarter. After three in the sectional championship game. The score, the Fairmont Senior Polar Bears 54, the East Fairmont Bees 22 on Fun 93-1. Hi, this is Meredith Mayer from Fairmont, West Virginia, and when I'm back home, you can find me at my local Parmar store. We have that thundering herd pride at your local Parmar stores. We are over 200 stores strong and growing. Download the Parmar app for even more savings and sign up for the Parmar Rewards Card. Whether it's food, gas, or groceries, we have you covered. We are Marshall, and we are Parmar Stores. If there's not a Parmar store near you now, there will be soon. Here at the Cracker Barrel, homestyle food and great value go hand in hand with favorites like slow-simmered chicken and dumplings starting at $7.99. 
or perfectly golden fluffy buttermilk pancakes with your own bottle of warm syrup. Come fill up on favorites without emptying your wallet. Cracker Barrel. Take care now. One quarter to go, and the Polar Bears have a very comfortable lead. It's 54-22. to 22. Polar Bear fourth quarter lineup, Grant, Claybrook, Dobbs, Butler, and Wilson. Cumberledge on the bench with three fouls and 17 points. Dobbs with 21 points leads the Polar Bears. Grant has 13 for the Bees. It's been Boyers. He has 12, and he's their leading scorer. Paramount with a basketball to start the fourth quarter. Grant gets it back outside to Butler. Right wing, Grant. Back outside now to Dobbs. Top of the key beyond the three-point line. Right corner, Grant. He'll fire a three-point shot. No good. Rebound controlled by the Bees. Stewart gets it out to Crusoe. Crusoe playing with three fouls. Takes it down to the right wing. His cross-court pass into the corner to Boyers for a three-point shot. It's good. Maddox Boyers hits the three. Polar Bears lead 54-25. Wilson in the backcourt. Gets it over to Dobbs. Dobbs guarded by Boyers. Drives inside, gets it to Claybrook. Back outside to Butler. Butler on the right wing to Dobbs. Polar Bears lead by 29. Right wing, Butler. Three-point shot. It's good. Jules Butler gets the three-pointer. His second of the night. Fairmont 57, East 25. Inside seven minutes to go in the game. Stewart, deep right corner for the Bees. Down to the short corner now to Crusoe under the basket. Gets it back outside now. Michael shoots a 12-footer, rebound Crusoe, and he lays it in. Crusoe, right spot, right time. Bees trail 57-27 as Fairmont Sr. gets it in the front court. Dobbs out on the right wing. He drives inside, deep left corner. Grant open for a three. High off the rim, no good. Rebound poked out of bounds by Dobbs. Out of bounds to the Bees with 6.31 to go. Fairmont leads by 30, 57-27. The winner of this game plays at home. Looks like it will be the Polar Bears at home against RCB for the regional qualifier. Short corner, the ball comes to the Bees. With it is Michael outside to Crusoe. Right wing Hunt open for a three-point shot. It's an air ball. Crusoe tries to save it, and he does. Stewart gets it in the lane. Top of the key to Michael. Another three is no good, and on the rebound, a whistle, and a foul is called. Foul's going against Fairmont Sr. Chris Wilson charged with a foul, his first, on the rebound. And the ball is out of bounds to the Bees under their basket. Fairmont Sr. 57, East Fairmont 27, 6.06 to go. Boyers to get it in. Boyers lobs it out, out on the right wing. Michael, top of the key, Hunt, left corner, Boyers. Drives down inside, spins, gets it back in the corner. Stewart for a three. It's good. Grayson Stewart hits the three-point basket. And the Bees trail 57-40. There's Cumberledge behind the defense, and he slams it in. Trey Cumberledge has his 19th point. Fairmont leads 59-30. Three-point shot put up and in good by Boyers on the left wing. Into the front court, Cumberledge gets it to Grant. All alone, he lays it in. Grant gets the basket. And a timeout call by the Polar Bears. 5.31 to go in the game. It's Fairmont Senior 61, East Fairmont 33 on Fun 93-1. National Bank, where you can purchase or refinance your home with the No Down Payment Champion Mortgage. No down payment, no private mortgage insurance, no kidding. Visit your local branch to get started today. City National Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. To learn more, log on to mortgage.bankitcity.com. Sandwiches, better with Pepsi.
East Fairmont has the basketball, 5.31 to go in the game, and the Polar Bears lead it 61-33. to Polar Bears have Cumberledge, Claybrook, Butler, Dobbs, and Grant in the game. The Bees, Boyers races into the front court, his team down by 28. Boyers guarded by Grant. Sends it to Crusoe, top of the key against Dobbs. Hands it off now to Stewart. Stewart tries another three. It's short. Rebound. Polar Bears Grant. Outlet comes to Dobbs. Into the front court from right to left. Dobbs down into the left corner. Double team. Back it comes on the right wing to Butler. Right corner Cumberledge. Back to Butler on the wing. Top of the key. Grant has it. Grant drives to the basket. Lays it up in traffic. No good. Rebound. Tip. Grant gets it. He has a reverse layup. And it's good. Andre Grant hits it, and the Polar Bears lead it 63-33 with 4.48 to go. East with the ball now. Boyers on the left wing to the top of the key, down to the right wing. Stops, looks inside for Crusoe, gets it to him, back to the basket. Now he's double teamed, ball poked away from him, he gets it back. Out on the right wing, three-point shot by Michael, no good. Rebound Dobbs, and Dobbs fouled in the backcourt by Crusoe. That will be his fourth. Crusoe frustrated tonight. He had 29 points the last time the two teams played, and he has six tonight, and now he has four fouls. Avery Brown checks into the lineup for the Bees. Out of the game, Stewart. And also in for the Bees is Cole Van Gilder coming in for Blake Hunt. Polar Bears with the basketball with a 30-point lead. Dobbs will dribble up from right to left. Dobbs across the timeline. Dobbs facing a double team. Throws it under the basket beautifully to Cumberledge, and he softly lays it in. Cumberledge with 21, and the Polar Bears lead 65-33. Outside with the ball for the Bees. Boyers. Boyers drives down inside, stops, pulls up from 13, and puts it in. Boyers providing most of the offense for the Bees tonight. And the Polar Bears lead 65-35, 3.47 left. Grant, left corner, Butler. He goes down the baseline, shovels it to Claybrook. Claybrook in traffic, puts it up, blocked by Crusoe, and Claybrook gets the rebound back. Over to Cumberledge, back outside to Dobbs. Dobbs double team. Bounces it in the corner to Cumberledge. Crossword pass to Grant. Feeds it inside for Claybrook. Stolen away by Crusoe. Crusoe into the front court. Bees down by 30. Takes it down inside and travels. And the Polar Bears get it on the east turnover. Wilson will check into the Fairmont lineup. He'll come in for Grant. 3.20 to go. And Dobbs will dribble up court from right to left. Dobbs bounces it to the high post. It comes to Claybrook. Right corner, Cumberledge. Three is an air ball. Rebound comes down to the Bees. Into the front court, it comes to Michael. Michael drives down into the lane. Turns against Claybrook. Misses the shot. Cumberledge rebounds. Back the other way. Cumberledge two on two. Drives down inside against Boyers. Puts it up. No good. Rebound. Fight inside. Loose. Controlled by Crusoe. Down court, it comes to Michael. Michael drives in against Claybrook and banks it in. Michael hits it with 2.45 to go. Polar Bears up 65-37. And Dobbs dribbles into the front court. Dobbs gets it over to Butler. Butler right corner, Claybrook. Claybrook gets double team pressure, dribbles out of it, gets it to Butler, penetrates, gets it to Cumberledge on the left wing. Cumberledge outside to Claybrook with 2.27 to go. Over to Dobbs now, and Dobbs is grabbed and fouled by Maddox Boyers. Just the second team foul against the Bees. So the ball is out of bounds to the Polar Bears. It'll be out sidelines front court adjacent to the Polar Bear bench. Crusoe and Boyers check out of the Bees lineup now with 2.24 to go. They will have another game. They'll just play it on the road. Dobbs has it in the backcourt for the Polar Bears with 2.20 to go, just standing there in the backcourt. And now he gets it across the center line. Over to Grant. Grant, left wing, Butler. Butler, down to the left corner to Cumberledge. Back outside to Butler. Top of the key to Grant. Back to Butler. Bounce pass, foul line. Dobbs inside to Cumberledge under the basket. He lays it in. 
Coverlidge gets the basket. The Polar Bears lead 67-37 with a minute 54 to go. East with the ball now. A minute 48, clock turning. They have a freshman in the game now. That's River McLean. Bounce pass stolen away by Dobbs. Zykeus will drive for the basket from the right side. He puts it in good, and he's fouled. Dobbs gets the basket. He'll go to the line looking for the three-point play. And the foul was called against the Bees, Cold and Gilder. Polar Bears making wholesale changes now. Everybody out except Dobbs, who's shooting. Out of the game. Butler, Wilson, Cumberledge, and Grant. Claybrook had already been out, so that means in comes Barker, Morris, Cooper, and Flasher for the Polar Bears. Dobbs shooting one. It is in and out no good, and the rebound controlled by the Bees' Van Gilder. And Van Gilder will dribble it up. Polar Bears lead 69-37. Pass comes under the basket. Layup put up no good. And a foul called against the Polar Bears, and that will send Hayden Dudash to the foul line. Foul called against Landon Morris. That'll be his first. Hayden Dudash, who just checked into the game as a junior, and he'll shoot at the line to the right. First free throw is good. Didn't take Dudash long to get his name in the scorebook. Dobbs checks out, and Damani Johnson in with a minute 31 to go. Dobbs out with 23 points tonight. Second shot coming for Dudash, and it's high off the rim, and the rebound knocked out of bounds, out of bounds to the Bees. So East will bring it in play from under its basket. Whoever would have thought we'd have a 30-point game tonight after we had a three-overtime game the last time the two teams played here two weeks ago. McLean with it on the right wing, moves in against Moore, scoops it up left-handed and scores. River McLean hits it, and the Bees trail 69-40. Morris gets it to Barker. Barker on the right wing. Flasher, left wing, Johnson. Left corner, Cooper. Back outside now to Morris. Right wing, Flasher. Back top of the key it comes. Johnson has it. Over to Cooper. 57 seconds left. Back to Barker. Morris looks inside. Nobody there. Left wing, Cooper. Top of the key, Johnson. Polar Bears aren't holding the ball. They're trying to get the shot. You can see them working cuts to the basket, but they haven't been able to get anybody open. Cooper over to Blasher on the wing. Right wing Morris with 35 seconds to go. Top of the key, Johnson. Back now to Barker. And now the Polar Bears will pull the ball out, and they will not attempt the shot. So... Kalen Barker just dribbling the ball out at the center line. Time running off. Polar Bears hold a 29-point lead. And will advance to the regional qualifier here at home next Wednesday night. We're down to five seconds. And it's now official. Fairmont Senior sectional champions. Final score tonight, the Polar Bears 69. East Fairmont 40, the wrap-up coming up next on Fun 93-1. Okay.
Not what was expected here at the Fairmont Fieldhouse tonight. The Polar Bears in a blowout win over East Fairmont, 69-40, to and Fairmont will advance to the regional qualifier here next Wednesday night. Let's check the final scoring in the game tonight. For the Bees, it was Maddox Boyers with 20 points. He was the only East player in double figures. Jackson Crusoe had six, five for Blake Hunt, four for Grayson Stewart, two for River McLean, and one for Hayden Dudash. On the Fairmont side, Zacchaeus Dobbs and Trey Cumberledge led the way. Each had 23 points. Dobbs had 11 twos, one for six at the foul line, 23. Cumberledge had seven twos, three threes, and a total of 23 points. Andre Grant, six twos, one three, two for two at the line, 17. And Jules Butler, two threes, four six. Team totals, Fairmont had 24 twos. East had nine. The Polar Bears had six threes. And the Bees had four. At the foul line, Fairmont Senior, three of eight. And East Fairmont, 10 of 14. The Polar Bears led at the half, 34-14. At the end of three, 54-22, and the Polar Bears win it 69-40. When we come back, it'll be time to announce the Elevate Physical Therapy Player of the Game coming up next on Fun 93-1. Okay. Hi, Dennis. Tonight here at the Fairmont Senior Fieldhouse, the Polar Bears dominant, winning 69 to 40. And to pick the Elevate Physical Therapy player of the game, to pick one out of these two guys would be impossible. Trey Cumberledge, 23 points. Zykeus Dobbs, 23 points. So we have co-Elevate Physical Therapy players of the game. Dobbs and Cumberledge, each with 23. Polar Bears win by 29. We'll have the wrap-up coming up next on Fun 93-1. Okay, good.
It's a final. The sectional champions, the Fairmont Senior Polar Bears, being presented their plaque now as Fairmont Senior beats East Fairmont 69 to 40. Both teams advance, though. East Fairmont will play at Lincoln next Wednesday. The Polar Bears play at home against RCB. The B's record now 17 and 7. The Polar Bears are 23 and 1. So we'll be back on the air next Wednesday night. It'll be a 7 o'clock game as well. Fairmont Senior playing against Robert C. Bird. That's going to wrap things up tonight from the Fairmont Fieldhouse where the news is good for Polar Bear fans. I'm Jeff Carpenter. Goodbye for now. Final score, Fairmont Senior 69, East Fairmont 40 on Fun 93-1. It is. All right, go see.